What's up, everybody? Excel Dude coming at you again. Today, we're going to give you a quick run through of pivot tables and what they can do for you, why they're great, and some of the reasons I use them all the time. So, oddly enough, uh, I don't enter a lot of functions anymore into Excel when I can use a pivot table. And the reason I'll use them is I get a big data set like this. I need to summarize it and get some analysis out of it. While we're doing that, uh, maybe I don't want to you know, go through each line of data or mess around with the filters, change these things around. I get this sent to me or I pull it off some source. So all we're going to do is hit insert, pivot table. You'll see these, uh, this highlight goes all around the data set here. And it's going to show you the table or the data set, whatever you have. You can put it on a new worksheet and that's what we'll do here. Hit OK. And then we get this. So what do we do here? Right now, we're looking at the pivot table and we have these items right here. We have our different categories, so rank, player, position, age, and so on. We go back to the data and you'll see that they're the exact same ones right here. So all it's doing is taking the columns and letting us sort them however we want. We don't have to worry about copying and pasting, anything getting mixed up, change it around. It's just its own little world kind of here. So maybe we want to see the player names and we want to put them in the rows, so we want player names displayed like this. Take uh, player, drag it, so just click and drag, drop it into rows. There we go. Maybe you want to see how many points they have? Sure, we can do that. So do we want to see it in, uh, let's say we want to see it next to their names. So rows, what's next to it? Values. Points, drag it right there, and we see how many points each player has. And maybe we want to change something to have it by position. So we want to add position right here. We'll take that. And if we want to put it in columns, like over here, maybe all the forwards, all the centers, something like that, we just go here, position, drag it into columns, let go. So you'll see that you have all these different things, but this isn't necessarily the, I don't know, the, uh, let's say the most organized thing in the world. It does give you a great summary. You can change your filters here. You can go maybe anything with a, an A in it, stuff like that. And you'll see that the filters change for you. You can do that. If you want to see just the centers, you can go click here, unclick that, center, and here we go. Or if you want to make it uh, power forward, right there. It's going to change the names, update all the data for you. So it's pretty awesome. Maybe we want a chart, though. We can do that. So we'll go to insert actually we'll go here pivot table analyze and we'll go pivot chart so click that and we pick the kind of chart we want so you can do a column chart which yeah we'll do that one for now but just to show you an example you can do really all of them they're all options column chart okay and you do this so you can go in here and you have different designs and so on you can change it up to be however you want you can add your labels if you right click um, add data labels and so on. Um, you can do a whole bunch of things. You can sort stuff. Maybe if you want it to be the highest to lowest, you can go right here, right click, sort, largest to smallest, and the chart will update. Great. If you change this, point guard, what do you know? Your chart updates. Pretty cool. So that's one way you can get quick little um, insights from your data, things like that. You can also go alphabetical, right click, sort, A to Z, and so on. It's going to pick your data out and see like, okay, this is a text, so we want to go A to Z here. Then maybe point guard, it's numeric, so it's going to recognize smallest to largest. Um, also, we can do a couple of different things here. Maybe we add a filter. We want to add, let's say instead of point guard, we want to put that in the filter. And we want to do by team. So we have our different teams here. And you'll see that this updates. You'll change your charts accordingly. Things like that. So you can, uh, you know, sort of play around with different things. See what works. But also, if you want to update your categories or change them around, all you do is drag and drop right around here. So maybe we don't want to look at players. We want to look at overall team. All you do is you can put the player right up here. And team, drag it into here. So now we have our different teams. We can sort it again. Largest to smallest. And there it is. Maybe we want a different breakdown of positions. So all you do is you can go right here, click on Pivot Table Analyze, Options, 
and show report filter pages because remember we put positions here so maybe we want a pivot table for every position we want a different tab so show filter pages position yep hit OK and you've got point guard right there but that's because we only had the one selected so then if you want to do multiple of them you just go here select everything and do the same thing options show filter pages okay we have center power forward point guard point guard shooting guard and a whole bunch of different options so pivot tables are great ways to analyze data uh, look at it pretty quickly and basically see what the trends are in that and they're super flexible and the other thing that's awesome is maybe you want to refresh it if there was a change in the data maybe you went to the data source here and you changed a bunch of this uh, let's say Steph Curry he had let's go actually let's go here 2000 for points we go here so you'll see that there is a change however what you'll just do pivot table analyze change data source you can either select this again and hit OK or you can just hit analyze refresh and there you go you see those point totals updated the Golden State Warriors and here the chart updated as well alright that's a pretty quick breakdown of pivot tables if you liked what you saw great hit that subscribe button we'll keep going and we'll have an intermediate tutorial for pivot tables out pretty quickly thanks see you next time